You have to have Jesus, praise God, before you have a new life. How many knows that? Right. And I thank God that you have to have Jesus for you if you don't not, not to walk in condemnation. Amen. Well, I gotta say that I walk in condemnation and everything else. But thank God now I'm saved on my way to heaven. Praise God. First Peter chapter 1, verse 18 and 19. Now the Bible says, and I know the churches are not preaching it very much anymore. And the churches need to get back to that, praise God, because let me tell you something. When you do away with the blood in the church, you're doing away, doing away with God. Amen. You're doing away with the new life. You're doing away with sins. Can't be, amen, washed away unless, amen, there's blood involved in it, praise God. And that's what Peter said. Amen. I tell you, I thank God this morning we had Peter. Amen. I know, I know he had his ups and his downs and everything, wars and battles with the, with the devil and everything, but you know what? He wasn't overcome. I'm going to preach on this morning. You are only redeemed and delivered by one way. I said, you're only, amen, been redeemed. Now, you know what redeemed means? It means you've been bought back, amen, by the blood of Jesus. He paid a price. He shed his blood, amen, and that we could be delivered. And we need to give him the praise and the glory. And it's not what you've done. It's not what the churches have done. It's not what the Pope has done. It's what Jesus has amen. done, amen. The Bible says, for what as you know, we need to know this. I said, we need to know this, amen, that you were not redeemed, amen, with corruptible things. As silver and gold, that means you can't buy your salvation. You can't buy your, and I'm glad because I'll tell you, I've been raised up for all my life. I couldn't afford my salvation if I had to buy it. Amen. Most of you probably couldn't either, amen, because the Bible says, you know the debt that you couldn't pay. And thank God Jesus came down. Amen to pay that. It's not corrupt things as silver and gold from your vain conversations. Amen. Received by traditions. Amen. From your fathers. And that church, church, I believe with all my heart, people has or in places and churches and things. Amen. They're not happy there. There's no spirit there. There's no move of God there. But they go there because they love their mom and dad or, right. or their family, amen. But church, you can't go by that. I said you can't go by that, amen. Right. amen. The Bible tells you to have tradition of your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus as a lamb without blemish and without spot. Praise God. And I tell you, church, I thank God there's only one way that you can be redeemed and delivered, and that's by the blood of Jesus. That's what Paul and Peter said here. And the Bible says in 1 John chapter 12, verse 13, now church, I, I know we, uh, when we got saved, uh, we try to quit this and quit that, do this and do that, amen, but you know, it's not the will of the Father by that. We're not saved by our will, we're not saved by what we're doing, or what we can do, and not by our works, but we're saved by the will of God through Jesus Christ. St. John chapter 1 verse 12 tells us, but as men receive him, that means Jesus, I said it means Jesus. It doesn't mean that your name has to be written in, in the church book somewhere. Else. Amen. But it means that your name is written in the Lamb book of life. Amen. And it says he, and he gave us power to become sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Glory to God. I believe on his name this morning. Amen. I believe there's a Jesus. I believe it's real. You know what? I gotta have a relationship with him. Amen. A lot of people say I believe in Jesus, but they don't have a relationship. If you believe in Jesus, you will have a relationship with him. Can I hear an amen? amen. You will understand the price he has to pay and the love that he has for us. Amen. That we can be redeemed. Glory to God. The Bible says uh, that believe on his name which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh. Nothing we can do, nor the will of man. Amen. There's no other man can save us, but the Bible says of God. I'm here to tell you, church, church, I thank God I'm saved by the will of God and by the, His Son and by the shedding of His blood. First John, or St. John chapter 1, verse 12 and 13 tells us, it's by the will of the Father He wanted to save us, and the only way He could save us and, and told us is by His Son, Jesus. Glory to God. Aren't you glad you got Jesus in your life? I said, I'm not glad I've got Jesus in my life this morning. Amen. And shed his blood, amen, saved me. His blood gave me a new life. And my sins are gone, my condemnation are gone. And because I'm washed in the blood of the Lamb, and he paid the price, and his, and his atonement set me free and made a new person out of me. Glory to God. 
But the Bible says, it says in Romans chapter 5, verse 8 through 11, but God, now we taught on love this morning. Amen. God commanded his love towards us. Amen. He, he, he loved us. This is what he said. But God commended his love towards us in that we were yet sinners. Christ died for us, but more than being now justified by his blood. We, we're not justified. Our sins are not gone. We still walk in condemnation. Amen. If we're, if we're not have the blood shed in our life and, and we've been forced by the blood of Jesus because it takes the atonement, it takes the blood of Jesus to just justify us before God. I thank God when I come to an old fashioned altar. Jesus cleansed me by his blood. Glory to God. Sanctify me by his blood. And just to justify me, glory to God. And give me the spirit of God in me that I can walk as sons or daughters of God. Aren't you glad that this morning? Praise God. But church be taken, we're all redeemed and delivered, amen, by one way, and that is Jesus. Amen. There's no other way. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come to the Father, amen, but except by me. Aren't you glad that you found the way? Amen. Aren't you glad the Holy Spirit showed you the way? Aren't you glad, praise God, that God, yes. amen, give us his love and command us his love that we can be saved? The Bible says we should be saved by his love, verse 10 says. And verse 11 says that not only but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, but who, by whom we now have received the atonement. Church, I thank God we have received the atonement. And church, there's only one way we can be delivered, amen, and walk with God is through the blood and the atonement of Jesus Christ. He paid a price. I said he paid a price. I said he paid a price that we could be saved this morning. I mean, he paid a terrible price, and I thank God this morning that he paid that price because I couldn't pay it, man couldn't pay it, but Jesus could Amen. pay it. Amen. Glory to God. I'm sure glad of that tonight on this morning. And church, much as we tried, and most of the time we walked in condemnation, condemnation and everything, like I said, I, before I got saved, before you got saved, you were the only other two. You thought you had to clean yourself up and everything before Jesus or God would save you. I thank God, church, I couldn't save myself. I couldn't wash my sins away. I couldn't be delivered, amen, except Jesus Christ. And he gave me the power that I could become, amen, amen. one of his children, yes. glory to God. And we, we can overcome, amen, the devil. Church people don't realize the strength and the power that the devil has on us, amen, when we, when we were lost. Right. And he still has a power and strength over us, amen, most of because we don't understand, amen, the, the blood of Jesus, and we don't understand the power of Satan. And church, sometimes we walk haphazardly, not realizing it's because of Jesus' atonement, because of his blood, that we have power over the devil. Oh, this is what I'm saying. We have power over the flesh. We have power, glory to God. Oh, what God has given us through the principalities and powers, we have overcome them. We can't walk in ourselves. Dr. Brother said a while ago, we can't, we have no power, amen, to overcome Satan, no power to overcome sin, no power to overcome flesh, except through Jesus Christ and his blood that was told for us that we can walk in the power of God. Can, can we give the Lord a hand clap this morning? Can we give him a praise this morning for what he said? And we're saved by and made all covered by his blood. Now, Revelation tells us, chapter 12, verse 10 through 11. Now, Paul, uh, John, the Reverend saw, amen, this. And he wanted to share it with the church. I thank God this morning, church, amen, that Jesus paid that price. And he washed us. He cleansed us. Amen. And our sins are gone. That we can, amen, walk in the heavenly places and walk, amen, right boldly into the throne of God. But this is what he says in Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Thank God Jesus, amen, raise an old apostle John, amen, up to heaven and let him see things that we needed to see. Amen. amen. And bring it back and give us a revelation of the things that, that's in heaven. And he said, Now it's come salvation and strength and, uh, and the kingdom of our God. I will say that again. Thank God. Amen. He, he has come. Now he's come salvation. 
Now is come strength and the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brother is cast down. The devil, church, he, he gives us a glimpse. Now, church, we have a problem with something tonight, this morning. Well, in fact, we have more than one this one problem this morning. We have a problem with Satan every day. Right. I said we have a problem with Satan every day. Don't let no kid you. Well, the Satan don't bother me. Well, you better check yourself again. We have a problem with our flesh. And some people don't have no problem with flesh. Well, you better check yourself again. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And, and so I have no trouble with sin. Well, you better check yourself again. Because the Bible says, amen, we, we battle, amen, with, the, with the, the devil, the spirit, amen, of, of the devil every day. Amen. But thank God we have one greater in us than he that's in the world. And that praise God, that is Jesus. Amen. And though we walk in Jesus, we'll have the power over sin, we'll have the power over the flesh, and we'll have power over the devil. You may fail sometimes, but you know what, church? I, like I said, I heard a preacher say this morning, amen, that, that Jesus died one time on the cross of Calvary. That's all, he, that's all he went, one time. But he says we have to go to the cross of Calvary every day of our life, every hour of our lives, because that's where, amen, redemption comes from. That's where we will, will overcome us, and Jesus paid the price. Can I hear an amen? amen. amen. Thank God I pray this morning. I said, thank God you've been free this morning. Thank God you've been delivered this morning. Yes. Thank God you got me through this morning. Not in yourself, not in your church, not in the world, but in Jesus Christ. It's where you're being yes. yes. And his precious blood. Yes. Thank now we have an accuser. That's the devil. Hallelujah. Which accused accuse them before God day and night. Every day, every night, he come before God. And it says that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. You don't overcome the devil. You don't overcome the flesh. And you don't overcome sin. They may accept through the blood of Jesus Christ. He paid the price. And church, we thank God we can look for that. I've, I've been reading the, about the sanctuary, about the, amen, about the, 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 the offers and everything. And I didn't realize what it really was, amen, for the, for the people, amen, to, to come, amen, to have their sins covered by the blood of some lamb or animal. They, they said you had to bring a lamb, and you had to keep that lamb, I think, for 14 days. And it, it's got to be without spot, without blemish. It's got to be checked. And even when they kill the lamb, right. and, and the priests, but before they kill the lamb, amen, the, the accuser, the sinner, amen, that has to have their sins covered by the blood, and that has to lay hold of that lamb. Church, we got to lay hold of Jesus. Yeah. Every day we got to lay hold of Jesus. Amen. The church, let me tell you something. We have killed Jesus just like the Pharisees and the, and the, uh, the other, the, the Gentiles, I mean, and that's, that, that killed Jesus. We was part of that. You know why? Because church, we said it because of our sins. He died for our sins. But the, the Bible teaches us in the Old Testament that they take the lamb, the accuser, and lay their hands and confess their sins. Amen. On that lamb, that is a lamb. And while they're confessing, when they get done, they have to themselves, amen, cut that lamb's throat. And the, and the priest uh, takes the, 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 the cup and, and fill it up with blood and sprinkle it up on the altar for the sins. Right. We, they had to do that, but thank God Jesus paid the price. And all we can have to come to him because he is our sacrifice. Amen. He's our lamb. And God Amen. said, Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world. Thank God for that. The Bible says in verse 7, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, that's Jesus, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Church, we gotta love Jesus until we die. That last breath in us, we should have a love of God in us. We should have a, the faith of Jesus in us. Can I hear an amen? Because church, it, it, Jesus helped us. He paid the price that we could be overcome with over sin, flesh, and the devil. Praise God. Well, this was the purpose. Now, the church, when those, when those people, the accusers, they may confess their sins to the, to the high priest there, and when they slept, they may grab the whole that man by the head and, and cut that man's throat, and, and therefore they had, to, they had to go there and the priest, the high priest, took the blood and put it on the altar. That's why the Bible says Jesus had to come down as a, as a lamb, 
and he become our high priest now. But the Bible said he had to, his blood had to be shed that we our sins could be forgiven. Amen. And I thank God. And he said he'd come to destroy the works of the devil. That was the only way, and that was a symbol of what Jesus was going to have to do when he come down and become man and go to Calvary and be sacrificed for our sin. Church, we have put him there. Right. Amen. Because the Bible said, by one man sin, sin came. But the Bible said, by one man righteous, righteous came. And that's through Jesus Christ, glory to God. So God, Jesus came down to destroy the purpose, amen, where the devil laid upon us. Thank God, church, we've got power over sin. Amen. amen. We may have problem with sin, but we got power over it. Yes. We may have problem with the devil, Brother James, but we got power over him. Amen. In other words, the devil has no dominion over us. Right. Sin has no dominion over us. And the flesh has no dominion. Thank God, church, we've got victory. Amen. I said we've got victory. I've been redeemed. Yes. I said, I've got been to this world, but I've been redeemed yes. by the blood of Jesus Christ, and his atonement forced me clean, yes. and the blood justified me before the Almighty God. And I've got a new life. And I thank God yes. for that this morning. Amen. The devil can't cross that blood out. I thank God. Amen. Now, the Bible tells us, and I'm closing this morning, we had a great service this morning. Amen. Amen. I said, we had a great service this morning. Amen. Amen. I just feel like preaching a little bit this morning. Thank God we've been redeemed. That's yeah. the that song. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Amen. By the precious blood of Jesus. I've been bought and I've been paid for. Amen. I said, I've been bought and I've been paid yes. for. You have been bought and you've been paid for. You've been atoned. Amen. And you can walk down voted for the throne of God. Amen. Yes. You don't have to have no Pope. You already got the Pope. The high priest says Jesus. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, church. There's only one way we can be redeemed and we can be saved. The only one way we go to heaven, amen, that's, that's been the blood bought. Only the blood bought, child of God, amen, will be able to come when Jesus comes. Yes. I said the only one can deliver us is Jesus. If we got the blood of the on us, when Jesus comes back, we're going to go home with him. Amen. It's only the blood that bought, that bought will be, he come for us. The, he has bought the paid the price for us, church. The Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled, believe in God, be lost with me. That's a simple, that's a simple verse today. That's a simple. See, some people won't get saved because it's too simple. Amen. I said some people won't get saved and receive Jesus because it's too simple. They think they have to give their life, or they think they have to pay a big price. They think they can buy our way, but the Peter said you can't buy your way with silver or gold. You, you can't work your way in. You're saved by grace, amen, through faith and not the works, lest any man shall boast. What a simple way to get to heaven. Amen. He said, I'm, I'm going to go, go away to prepare a place for you. And if I prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. How many believe that this morning? Amen. Amen. I thank God Jesus paid that price and made it so simple. Even a fool won't have to waver from it. Amen. Because he made it so simple. But he made it so simple but some people just won't accept it. Amen. In closing this morning, the Bible says it in uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 5 through 6. Church, it, it's all about, about us being redeemed by the blood that gives us victory and atonement over sin. And don't let the devil tell you you don't need the blood. Don't let the devil tell you you don't have to go to Calvary every day because you do. Amen. Revelation 1, chapter 5, verse 6. Now, to him that loved us. Now, God loved us before we loved him. Right. He showed us his love. Amen. Before we loved him. He showed us his love. And even while his son was being crucified and being beaten and everything else, he still showed us his love. And he was willing to let his son die. Amen. For our sins that we could go to heaven. Now to him that loved us and washed us from our sins. The only way you won't get your sins is washed away through the blood of Jesus. Through that atonement. Being redeemed by him. Amen. And washed, away, washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father to him be glory, demanding forever and forever. Amen. Thank God this morning, church, that we have been redeemed. Thank God we've been washed by the blood of Jesus. And now, the Bible said we become sons and daughters of God. We're kings and priests. And church, I'm here to tell you, we need to share this little simple gospel. We need to share, share the, amen, the people, tell them 
that Jesus, amen, paid the price for you. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to work your way in. If you just accept Jesus by faith this morning, you will be saved. If you believe in Jesus, accept him as your atonement and as your living sacrifice, you will go to heaven because he, if you're bought by the blood of Jesus Christ, you will go to heaven because your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If I don't make you excited, nothing will. Oh, glory to God. Give the Lord a hand clap to us. Praise God. Amen. The Lord of God, feel the Spirit of God this morning. Uh, thank God for what He's done this morning in the service. I just wish we could have them take all the service. Amen. Amen. And let the people know just how much we love God, how we worship God. Amen. Would you stand this morning?